Ohio Mentor, a therapeutic foster care agency here in Southern Toledo, says the need for local foster parents is significantly growing, and that's why it's asking community members to get involved. It's a sheer state of panic. That's honestly the best way to describe it, and dread, because you don't know what's going to happen next especially having like a child's mentality. At just five years old, Miranda Cherry and her brothers were removed from their home because their parents could no longer care for them. they are only a few of thousands of children who have to go into foster care every year in Ohio. The last time that I actually had stats on that, there was like over 15,000 children in care. Um, I know in Lucas County, the last time I talked with uh, the Lucas County Children's Services officials, they had almost a thousand children in care. Lucas County Children's Services says it has 260 foster homes right now, but because of the opioid epidemic and other issues, the agency could use almost twice those homes. It's also why Ohio Mentor, located on Airport Highway in Toledo, has decided to offer some weekend classes. There is no charge at this agency to become a foster parent. So. What we found is by doing doing it in an intensive weekend where we start on a Friday night and we end on a Sunday evening. Um, they get to go home and have breaks in between. But they can actually get half of their training. So half of 36 hours, 18 hours is done in one weekend. We pretty much are open to anything and we go to 21. A lot of agencies only go to 18. So by having these homes licensed and ready to go, having these beds available for these children um, kind of keeps them out of that residential environment or living in more like a group home settings. It's crucial for those like Miranda Cherry who believes the worst would have happened if she didn't get help. If we wouldn't have got out of the home, I mean, I don't think that we would even be alive today. Um, it was a really bad situation. So like my bio dad actually tried to like burn down the house. So like, I mean, these are situations that happen all the time though. Um, so I can't even imagine, or I could see myself even being on the streets or involved with drugs. I mean, that's the thing. If you don't get the proper coping skills, you turn to things to try to heal yourself, which Ohio Mentor also aims to help with by offering a therapeutic approach. Every child who gets placed in foster care um, would qualify for, you know, a traumatic experience. So even if it was nothing else other than that, that would be traumatizing, being removed from your family and placed with strangers. And um, so being able to get in right away, work with the kids, and also, you know, being able to educate the mentors and provide that next level of support is really critical. And it's critical so kids can end up with a successful life. In Miranda Cherry's case, it meant she and her brothers getting adopted by their foster parents. Studies have even shown that even kids who have been in care, even if they don't get adopted, but maybe they had that one home that taught them resilience, they can take that with them and they can actually move on, use coping skills and become productive members of society. Ohio Mentor is encouraging anyone interested to at least reach out to the agency, get the information you need, and then make a decision. In Toledo, Roxana Elias, The Blade.